works there. So when I trim my sugar peas, um, you're going to have a blossom end and then the stem end. And most likely you will be able to tell, for instance, this is where the blossom is, the little flower. And then you have your um, the, the vine end right here. Okay. So always start trimming from the vine end. It's going to be, your string is going to be tougher up here and it's easier to grab. So you'll have uh, usually a flat side and then a curved side. I like to do the flat one first. Come in at an angle and then just pull it out like that. Okay? And then don't come back up here and get the blossom in and try to pull it up because it's very weak string right here and you won't be able to grab it usually. Come back up to your stem end, your vine end, come in at an angle and then pull it out. And that's going to be a much smaller string. Okay? So I'll go ahead and get these going. Blossom end is usually, you know, fat down here skinny your vine in is skinny and narrow at the top come in on the flat side at an angle pull it down come back over the top pull it back and there you go and you might not even be able to get a string when it's very young like for instance this is a, a young pod here um, I'm going to see if I can get a string out of here. A little bit of one, not very much. Not enough to bother me. I could leave it in there and we, we would eat it. That's an, another advantage to having harvesting young things when they're very small is you don't have as much work in preparing it here. At least with these. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get all these trimmed. Start at the spine end, pull it back. And there was not much of a string on that one. <laughs> 